Hello, it's Molly Reamer with Bridget's Grove in 30 Days of Goddess, and I just wanted to share some new resources that I've been cooking up for 30 Days of Goddess from a monthly practice perspective. I have a high emphasis on daily practice. I really think it's very important, but 30 Days of Goddess is a month, and so this month I was inspired by a comment on the monthly video to create some resources centered around a monthly practice, like shaping the whole month. So I've created what I consider to be kind of snapshot or overview resources to help support, guide, nurture, and encourage you in the month. So you have a monthly worksheet that you can do while you watch the monthly video. And then there is, so there's space, and this is available in two sizes, like a full page planner size, and then this foldable size that could fit inside another prayer book. And uh, so it has some questions and things to consider, a little notes for each week of the month, bits of magic that you may have noticed, and then a moon wheel on the back for daily uh, mood, rune, cycle tracking, whatever you want to use it for, that's there on the back. So this is just a little quick monthly planner worksheet that hopefully could integrate into your other practices or enhance your existing 30 Days of Goddess prayer book practice. But I wanted to make this something that's really like bite-sized and kind of coming from an overview and uh, not instead of daily but uh, an overview in addition to or in support of daily but also you know to give you some give you some options and then there is also a simple and sacred affirmation prayer which I really find is the heart of 30 days of goddess I use this during our monthly life circle which is also called simple simple and sacred and it's just kind of there's two versions of uh, a first person version and a second person second person version and this is really just something i've been using this every morning and it kind of just recenters you into the heart the purpose and this um this practice instead of making it too big or too complicated and then the last part which is the one i'm super excited about of your little monthly resource kit is this monthly snapshot card. So I created these based on the video content and the newsletter that I send out, which all of these things are available via 30daysofgoddess.com. If you're not on the newsletter list, the cards will come out for you this this month, but you can also find them by scrolling down to the February practice ep update section on the website. So that's 30daysofgoddess.com. There's a link at the top to join the newsletter and to participate in live circles. And you can also scroll down and access any printables below. I will say that I got these printed at Staples in color. It ran me about a dollar 30 for the cards and so and they just there's a nice quality to them that I can't really get printing at home. So, it runs you about a dollar 30. You can go to staples.com to the simple print section. You can upload the file and then you can order it online and then just go pick it up at your local Staples. So, you don't even have to you don't have to take anything in with you. There's no, you don't have to like save it on a little USB and then carry it in. You can just upload it and um, get it printed that way. It's super, super easy. And I use it, that kind of stuff all the time. So anyway, there is a, what I was calling a monthly snapshot card. So my idea is that you would choose the rune for um, the overall month. And then you could put it on the goddess's belly or I, there was room in the corner. So I put it over there in the corner. Then there's a prayer of the month. There's a theme for the month and just an affirmation for the month. So this is like a monthly snapshot card. This could be your practice. This card in and of itself could be a little snapshot practice to help guide, support, and encourage your month. And then there's a basic monthly ritual card. Some questions to consider drawn from the video and from the newsletter and then another prayer or another poem invitation. And so these things together kind of form this monthly, this monthly practice overview or this snapshot kind of practice. And I'm not gonna say as opposed to a daily practice, but it helps to kind of guide and vision the month as a whole and to provide you with resources so that if you do miss, miss a day or, um, find that keeping a prayer book is uh, more than you want to do at this time, then you can still participate in 30 Days of Goddess with these monthly practice resources. Remembering that there's also a sampler pack with prompt words for every day 
and prayer cards and things like that, that's already available. These are just the new new additions in this overview format. Then, uh, of course, I always like to make extra things for our Goddess Magic community on Patreon. That is patreon.com slash goddessmagic. And so that's a membership opportunity and the patrons there do get extra monthly overview cards in their pack as well. Oops, sorry, lovely lady. Um, they, and they also get small versions, small card size versions of the same thing. These, these small versions all fit all on one page. And um, so the Goddess Magic people get those resources as well. But this overall February overview, February snapshot is available via 30daysofgoddess.com. It's right there as a download. You don't have to sign up. You can just click on the links and open up the downloads. Though, if you would like to subscribe to the newsletter, I welcome that and would love to walk with you into the rest of this year, supported, nurtured, encouraged by daily practice and by monthly practice and uh, in claiming our own magic and celebrating our own joy and steeping in our own wisdom and knowing. So anyway, may these practices, prompts, prayers, and processes be of service to you. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.